Well, all right, this time we're going to be building a Model C port. It's much easier than you would think. This is part one. There'll be some other ones. A C port can really enhance any model scene. You have all of these different things you can possibly do, and of course, there are C ports all over the world. In addition to that, there's an infinite amount of detail that you can work into these scenes. Literally, the sky is the limit, and they're really fun to have around. To start out with, you have to have a basic idea what your scene wants to look like. Of course, it has to have some depth because there's going to be water and then land and shoreside things. Now, I decided to have part of it a seawall metal and then part of it riprap rocks. So the seawall part's a nice 90 degrees and the, sea, the riprap is at an angle. I find you can use your hot glue gun to stick this foam together. But you got to be careful. Don't make it on the hot setting. Make it on the cool setting. And then, of course, I like to paint everything first. Give it a nice neutral color. And look at the price in that paint. It's in keeping with my cheap and easy. Okay, it must be time to make the water. And I use these inexpensive uh, acrylic paints that you can get at any of the hobby stores. They're really cheap. What you do, the darker color is for the deeper water. The lighter color is for the shallower water and you just kind of dribble a little bit along and then you start working it together and you work it together to work it together of course you're doing this when it's all real wet the deeper you want the darker the color now if it ends up not exactly what you want who cares just let it dry and then paint over it and try it again you might want to try this initially on a piece of scrap cardboard get a feel for it now to make the metal backing the seawall you could use plastic. I've seen some of these plastic pieces available, but I just happen to have some of this wood around. And in keeping with the cheap and easy, I had some rattle can paint. I painted it first with the dull gray, and then I speckled it with some of the silver. And there you can see the, the outcome came out pretty good. Now it's time to do a little dry brushing. You get a little bit of rust on there. This dry brushing is kind of an art form and I really suggest that you practice that before you get carried away with it. After the paint all dries I like to add my weathering powders just to give it a little bit more color, a little depth. And here's how they came out. Okay fine, maybe they don't look exactly like metal but they're gonna be looking good enough underneath the dock area. So this is easy and of course to install it when I have dissimilar materials like the plastic and the wood I like this product called Hobby Tack. What you do is you slop it on, let it dry almost completely, and then put it in. And here's what it came out. Not bad, not bad for wood. So with that Hobby Tack, make sure to get your pieces in the correct place to start because it'll never come apart, never ever. Okay, now to make the rip rack seawall, see these nice round rocks? My wife keeps wanting me to use them. No, those belong out in the garden not on your scene what you want are these crushed rocks these very sharp rocks this particular one is what's called one quarter inch crush and where do you get these rocks well I got them from my driveway just right out in front what you do is you start gluing these rocks on one at a time it's this gigantic jigsaw puzzle just one rock after another after another building it up now you do want to be careful though, if you put too many rocks on without allowing the bottom area to dry, the whole thing will fall apart. Gee, that sounds like the voice you've experienced. Okay, here you got it. You've got the water in place, you've got the metal seawall in place, you've got the riprap in place. And so here you got it. It was easy, fun, and you could do it too. Now the biggest question is, what am I going to fill this seaport in with? And you guys, well, that's going to be your question, too. You'll have to come back and see what part two is. I'll show you what I'm going to be building next. This is a fun little project. I'm having fun with it. You can do it, too. Come back and see me again sometime, and we'll have some fun. Bye now.